Yes, hello everybody, it's Tommy G here. In this video, I'm going to remind you why it's absolutely okay, in fact, it's a fantastic thing to make slow and steady progress. Contrary to popular belief, going against the headlines and the clickbait and the social pressures that we're fed every day from the highlight reels, or the showcase reels of everybody on social media, making progress is not guaranteed. All success takes away from something else. It's almost like you need to take the energy that you've got over here and you've got to go and put it over, over there in order to get to where you want to be, but at the loss of something here. And that's where the sacrifice comes in. That might be that you have to let go of certain things that you're doing, certain behaviours, certain habits, certain foods you might like, certain things you might like doing, certain people you might like hanging out with. And you have to sacrifice a little bit of that because you've only got a certain amount of time and energy in order to facilitate the growth that you want. So it's hard. It takes time and it takes a lot of energy. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And so there's a reason why it's difficult. There's a reason why it's complex. There's a reason why we struggle so much. And that's because there's a lot of things we have to, ca to, to cater for, a lot of things we have to take into consideration. But I'm gonna simplify it in this video and remind you that there are three main areas of life that we have goals and aspirations in, but we can also have fires that we've got to put out, challenges and problems. So the first is our relationships. I mean, that's a really complex one, isn't it? Because we're dealing with other people and, and, and thoughts and emotions and feelings and shared expectations that can be mismatched and can cause us a lot of pain in some cases, but also a lot of joy. And so in our relationships bubble of our lives, we've got to make sure that things are good in order to make progress. You know, if there's a problem and it's stressing us out, then we're gonna feel that and that's gonna drop our energy down and that's gonna hinder our progress, not just in that area, but in the other two areas that I'm about to talk about. The second area is health. And in this health area, we're talking about your, you know, your physical um, well-being, you know, your mental well-being. Like, that's very complex as well, isn't it? You've got nutrition, you've got fitness, you've got your um, mental state, you've got the way that you feel about yourself, your self-efficacy, your confidence. I say that falls under health. We've got the uh, being free of disease, being free of illness, you know, stress, you could ultimately say, could really hinder the health bubble. And so to make progress in that area, that takes a lot of time, a lot of energy and a lot of work and sacrifice and dedication. And then you've got your career or your work or what some people might call contribution. What is it that you're putting your time into in order to contribute to the world around you? Um, and you know, be rewarded for that in return, which for most of us is a job or some kind of career-based movement, some kind of career-based output. And when you think about what it takes to make career-based advances and success, whether you're employed or not, it takes a lot. Employment success means you've got to do your job really, really well. You've got to do it consistently. You've got to meet your targets in order to get that recognition, that reward, that success, and maybe in the form of promotion or change jobs. And in that process itself, changing jobs, finding a new job, that's very stressful. It takes a lot of time and energy. Then if you're a business person, you own a business, well, man, like that takes everything. It's really difficult. It's really difficult to manage a business day in, day out and to get success in that. It's never overnight in any of these, but especially in that career or business section. And it's difficult. And again, don't let anybody convince you or tell you otherwise. When we look at it from a high view, we have, we have relationships, we have health and we have career. Generally, if we've got a fire in one of those areas, it's difficult to make successes or advancements or progress in the other two because we need to put that fire out wherever it might be. It holds us back, it slows us down. So we've got to have at least two of them firing up on all cylinders and the other one being okay in order to make some kind of positive progress, I think which is why it makes it very rare, doesn't it? So any kind of progress should be uh, celebrated. Any kind of success should be something that you feel pretty good about. And you should make sure that you don't put too much pressure on yourself because your life's complex. You know, you're a complex individual. You're a human being with a spectrum of emotions going through what could be um, perceived as a pretty stressful time. And so give yourself a little bit of room, okay? Give yourself a little bit less pressure 
put less stress on yourself because there's enough stress out there from everything else. And just concentrate on making slow and steady progress. So that's it for today. A little bit of revision on the three areas, relationships, health, career, um, and just that little bit of a nudge just to remind you, because I know you probably would know this, just take it one day at a time and focus on the small wins because slow and steady progress over time can be life-changing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't and uh, let me know what you think. You know, what's your biggest challenge right now? What area of life does it fall in? Relationships, health, career? Maybe it's a bit of everything. Let me know. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.